Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's May 6th and Monday morning, and uh, grain markets, especially corn, under uh, quite a bit of pressure here this morning. Uh, we believe it's because of the drier forecast that uh, the uh, weather people have put together here. They've got now a five to six day open period, and we know that uh, planters, when they start running, will uh, will run. Uh, around the clock and get this crop in the ground so that's uh, the main reason for the weakness I think the uh, the other factor that uh, trade is looking at we've had a, a sharp rally in corn prices uh, last week and uh, funds were uh, large buyers so the CFTC report put the uh, managed money up th 33,258 contracts in corn uh, they increased their long positions in soybeans by 17,600 contracts and increased long positions in wheat by 15,000 uh, contracts. And that uh, the significant out of this whole thing is that they are now only uh, short about uh, 5,700 contracts in wheat. So they've reduced their uh, short wheat position considerably. We've got a USDA report this Friday at 11 o'clock. Uh, trade's looking at that and considering it to be bearish. Uh, this is the first look that we've got it at the uh, uh, new crop numbers from the USDA, so uh, anticipating what they might do uh, there is uh, got trade uh, nervous and continuing to adjust positions as we go through the week. Planning progress out this afternoon, That's uh, it's got a big range of uh, estimates, anywhere from 12 to 20 percent is some of the ranges of uh, estimates. The uh, last week we only had 5% planted, and uh, average we got 47%. Uh, the big question there is how much uh, corn got planted before the rain and the the snow hit Iowa, Minnesota. The planters we we were getting reports that planters were uh, running uh, out in those areas, and uh, depending on how much they got done uh, before this rain is going to give us the uh, uh, number on. What uh, what was planted for the the week nationally? Soybeans looking at about a three percent uh, planting progress there. This should be the first week that we get data on that. Uh, Twelve percent was the average, and uh, uh, for the uh, the five year average. Uh, some other things that uh, is going on that could impact the market here. There's a holiday in uh, the UK today. Uh, the uh, Libya's is looking for uh, some wheat, uh, 50,000 tons of milling wheat and 50,000 tons of durum, optional origin at this point in time. They put out a tender for South Korea also is tendering for 50,000 tons of corn uh, with optional origin. Uh, China did announce that they will continue their uh, buying program to uh, and stockpiling program to help the producers uh, that prices have uh, fallen uh, in order to uh, support prices there because of the bird flu that uh, hit that country. We did see uh, late on Friday that Brazil uh, export numbers for April of soybeans was 8.2 million metric tons. The previous record for any one month was 5.9 million metric tons. So with that a uh, sharp increase of uh, exports. You got to think that they will continue to uh, increase exports for May, June as well as uh, their crop, uh, as they had a, a huge crop in uh, in soybeans. We'll get some uh, world data here on Friday to give us an idea what the USDA believes that their crop actually is. The uh, livestock trade. Uh, Choice beef uh, closed out Friday at a record high price of $201.68. Uh, select was down 51 cents. Pork cutout values were down 32 cents. Uh, expect the uh, livestock markets to uh, to open a little lower here uh, this morning, based on uh, outside influences and possibly a continuation of Friday's weakness. 
but uh, feeder cattle should show some uh, support here this morning with grain prices being down. So look for uh, some volatility this week. Uh, we're still going to be watching weather forecasts, and, and we've got the USDA report that are certain, is certainly going to uh, influence traders' thinking as we go through the week. If you got any questions, give us a call here at Allendale at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.